Welcome back everyone to Little Rody Wargaming for a game of Chain of Commands. Today we are in France for a showdown between a German infantry platoon and an American armored rifle platoon. Today's scenario is flank attack from the core rulebook with the Germans defending. So the Germans have opted to occupy the farmhouse over in that corner and that'll be their initial 36 by 24 inch uh, patrol area. The Americans just simply have to force them off the table while keeping their own force morale above three. So to go over a little bit of train on today's board, uh, the road will act as normal for all vehicles. Uh, we have quite a few sources of hard cover today. Any of the stone walls will be hard cover. And the buildings, including this ruin down here, will be hard cover as well because we're in France, so they're a little bit more sturdy structures. For light cover, or soft cover today, uh, we're going to have all of the hedges and the wheat fields, the, uh, which we're also going to include this little overgrown field here. All the hedges are line of sight obstructing uh, for two inch visibility. But if you are on top of the hill over there or any of the second floors of the structures, you can see down over them. Now, let's go into the patrol phase. So with all the defensive structures down, here's the American plan of attack. All right, so most of my deployment area is kind of over here. I'll probably bring in a, a machine gun team, or technically it's a machine gun squad, uh, up on the second floor here, getting a good line of sight on everything. Uh, probably bring in a couple teams over here to try and sweep the side. And then what I try to do is if he's not paying attention, I'll bring something in over there and sneak in and grab one of these deployment points. Support stuff. 
uh, that'll come in where it is. Um, I got a got a mortar and then a mortar observer. So, right, so that's the eighty-one millimeter mortar battery. Yep, the eighty-one millimeter. Um, so that'll be useful to pins up down. Yeah, a lot of it's going to depend on where here comes down. So. All right. So here's the German defensive plan. All right, so in this wheat field here, we've got a landmine, uh, got another landmine here in, on the curve of the road. I've placed a set of barbed wire here to keep any sneaky Americans from just running straight across the road. You now it has to go around. It's not a great defense, but it's better than anything. I put barbed wire on this side to keep anybody from being able to come across the board. So now they've got to come up. If they've come this way, they've got to come up in between the barbed wire and with that or get there. or get slowed down by all the bushes and right. difficult so terrain. It, you know, a little concentrated firepower, hopefully. Um, I've got this rear section here that. The Americans can jump off of, so I'll definitely have to keep the squad in this area uh, on, on lookout, make sure we don't get jumped from behind there. And a uh, couple squads just out in the middle here trying to keep the Americans' heads down and keep them from uh, being too much of a headache to them and try to kill more of them before they kill me. Yep, so all you have to do is get their force morale to below three and you're good yep all right so we've heard the plans now let's see if they survive contact with the enemy so the americans being the attacker uh will have the first active phase of the game well let's see what you got to work with uh, one six which means nothing senior leaders and uh yes all of your senior leaders can do something so with the two, the Americans just deployed a rifle squad off that jump off point there and have passed on all the other ones. So here's the Germans. So you got a five for a chain of command point. One, two, three, three. Pretty good spread. So the Germans used one of their threes to put a squad behind that wall right in close range of this squad. So we're doing some machine gewehr, needing four, fives, and sixes. That's a eight. Eight. All right, so eight hits on that American squad. Uh, so the American teams are in hardcover, so. That is two dead and a point of shock. Is it your leader? Uh, don't you have to pull from the soft cover guys first? Yeah, but your leader could get hit. Okay. No. He has not been hit. All right. So with the other three, Ted brought this squad in and has the overwatch just covering this whole section of the table here. And then he combined the one and the two to bring his last squad on. And they are going to be firing over at that American squad behind the cover. Uh, so with the machine gewehr, it is 15 shots at uh, effective range, meaning five to six. Uh, that's not bad. So... Five hits. And hard cover. Uh, another dead and a shock. Is it your leader? Uh, let me take a look. It is not. So a dead and a casualty, and that is all of the German activations. And here's the American. Activation roll. Got two chain of command points, a one, a two, and a three. So with a three, the machine gun squad deployed into the top of the building and is going to be firing with 21 shots onto this German section here. 
uh, needing fours, fives, and sixes. So we got quite a few. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven. All right. And you're in hardcover, so five six shots. Teams, so. Yeah. So you got two teams here. Your choice. Yeah. So it's five on one, six on the other. All right. Which one's five going on? The machine gun. Okay. So machine gun team. And fives of. Five's a shock, six is a dead. Nothing. Jeez. They don't care. <laughs> and then the six on the rifle team. So one dead and two shock. Is it your leader that's hit? No. Okay, so then just one dead and two shock on the rifles. So with the two, this squad here is firing, assuming on them. Yep. Okay. Six shots because of pins. Needing four fives and sixes. Four no hits. ones to reroll. So four hits. Uh, two and two. Two and two. Uh, um, machine gun team. Machine gun team. Okay. Nothing. Rifles, a dead in the shock. Yeah. All right. Uh, is it your leader? No. Okay. Uh, just a dead a shock. And with the one, I'm bringing on my support point. Okay. The one support element I took. in the building here. This, this team here. I'm looking out that window and saying, hey, I request mortar support. So here's the German activation. And it's a double phase with a chain of command point and two threes. That's actually not a bad roll. <sighs> so with um, one of his threes, the squad is going to be firing over uh, same thing as last time, so 15 shots, needing fives and sixes. Mm, I don't think it's quite as good as last time. Oh, four shots. Yeah. Four instead of five. And you have a dead in shock. Is it your leader? No. It is not. Which is dead, up to three shock. So this section, uh, squad here, just uh, shed a uh, single shock and then got mostly over the wall. Uh, but it's a German double face. It's another German double face with a uh, chain of command point, a four and a three. So on the next German phase, he will be dropping a die. So the German senior leader came on and removed two points of shock and is ordering that guy to fire the Panzerfausts into that corner of the building. Uh, so it was an HE die of two, meaning four, fives, or sixes. And it was a dud. So there was the four. And so with the three, the junior leader just advance the squad up and tossed a smoke grenade over blocking that window. And here we have the next German phase with only four dice. Oh, sorry. Yeah, roll that again. <laughs> and it's another German double phase with a four and a one. So with the four, the senior leader ran around and is using the rest of his command initiatives to have the section fire, uh, including an SMG, which is going to be the red dice needing five and sixes. Oh, one of the SMG rounds hit. And then it's, hit. Oh no, one of the fire. Yeah, the, uh, the red dice need fives, the rest of it needs fours. 
So that's three, six, nine. Nine onto that American squad. And we have two dead and a pin. The leader is not hit. And then uh, I think you're not doing anything with the one. Not yet. Not yet with the Panzer Shrek. So you have another phase. Now you're just rolling three dice. Will it be another double phase? Not this time. But that's still not a bad roll. So with the two twos, he's combined them into a four. And Ted, what are you doing? Ain't got nothing. Okay, here's the D6. Four, so that is two. Reduced down to a two because they're in hardcover. So okay. roll two fire-powered dice. Counts as in the open. So that is one hit. In the open. Shock. So that is a point of shock. They are up to five shock. And now you roll 3d6 to make contacts. And oh, yes, they do. So they've made it into combat. We've totaled up all the dice, and here's the Germans, meaning fives and sixes. One, two, three, four. Four killed. Four kills. With two of them being shock. All right. So four killed, two shock. I'm just going to put this here for now. Four okay. kills. And then the Americans have a pretty hefty amount of dice because of the 3d6 and the heavy cover. Alright. Oh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, so the Americans inflicted some very heavy losses. Um, well, Ted, one of your leaders is being hit. Uh, let's see, on a 1, 2, 3 on a dice roll, it's the junior. On a 4, 5, 6, it's the senior. The senior leader is killed. Or actually, no. Senior leader is wounded. Okay. Roll a d6. Let's see what happens to him. Uh, uh, yeah, he's killed. <laughs> okay. So senior leader is killed. But, Will, d6. Right. Uh, 1 through 4, your junior leader is hit. No, junior leader is not hit. So we'll apply the shock, we'll pull all the casualties, and we'll see what happens. So the Germans were repulsed, and the American squad uh, broke, which both forces ended up losing two force morale, which brought the Germans down to seven and the Americans down to eight. But the Americans finally get to respond with a phase of their own. Yay. So here's your activation dice. <laughs> Okay, two Chain of Command points, a useless six, a one, and a three. So with the three, another section came on right there and is firing at the uh, Germans. So uh, there are the white dice are an SMG that's at effective range. Three, six, seven, eight. All right. Ted, that's eight hits on the three men you have remaining here. Goodbye, men. They are in the open. They are all killed. So that's going to be some bad things happening. So that squad was wiped out, and it caused a total of three force morale to go down, bringing the Germans down to four and losing a... Uh, command die. And with the one, the mortar battery is coming in for immediate barrage. So 2d6. On a six, it deviates 2d6 inches. Sorry, I should have put that thing down good. Right here in the middle. Yeah. Right smack in the middle? All right. Uh, 2d6. Uh, do you need a random direction too? Or? Yeah, we're gonna have to find a random direction die. But is deviating six inches. And we've got a scatter die. Okay, six inches over. Right on top of these guys. All right, 
So we'll much right on this guy's head. Awesome. Okay, so you're gonna be hitting all teams in this area, and all of them are going to be pinned. Uh, so the mortar. So centering that on him. Yeah, it's gonna hit them. I don't actually know if I'm gonna hit that. Yeah, it's 18 inches from the center. We'll get the whole thing measured out. 18 from the center. So the barrage has come in and is hitting every single team under it. Uh, so we're going to start with the four dice on the machine gun team. Right. Uh, so that is two hits. The count is in the open. Yeah, so two for machine gun team. Break the team. Two hits. The other machine gun team that's under the tree. Yes, three hits. And then the Six. rifle team is fives and sixes. Yeah, so. okay. Nothing. So they skate. Okay. So this machine, machine gun, gun team. team. Yep. Nothing. Uh, two on the rifle team. That is one dead and one shock. And then the other machine gun team is one shock. But they are all pinned. So here's the German activation with only four dice. Okay. I see Six you is nothing. Sixes again. So that brings him up to five on the chain of command, and he's got a one and a four, which um, I don't think you can really do much of anything I with. You can bring my Panzer Strike thing on. Yes, you can. You can. Maybe. You don't have a senior leader off the board, so on a four, five, or six, it comes on. It comes on. I don't know where or why. <laughs> Not in the brush. Well, you can, you can Shrek me in the house, right? Only under the command of a senior leader. Oh. So, uh... No, I thought that was a Panzer Faust. I thought the Panzer Shrek... It's any anti-vehicle weapons. So, are you sure you want to bring the Panzer Shrek on? Maybe not. Well, he's useless. At the moment, yeah. Well, he is now because there's no senior leader. Um, so with that one, you could order a team, but no one has line of sight on anything because of the barrage. Oh. Pass back to the Americans. Okay. Right. Get the American activation. One double fives. You got no fives. I'll take it. Yeah, six, two, three, four, four. So the senior later came in and told, gave a order for the barrage to keep going. He rolled for the first machine gun team, and um, nothing happens. Rifle team. Has three hits because it's under the trees. Uh, other machine gun team. And one hit because it's under the trees. I got three for dice here. For and then the rifle team that's not under the trees, needing fives and sixes, and that gets it twice. I really dislike rifle teams, apparently. Okay, so, Ted, you had... Machine gun team? No. Oh. That's the rifle. That's the, that's the rifle team. So that is two dead. Is awesome. it your leader? No. So two dead on that rifle team. That's for the machine gun team. Uh, get a dead on the machine gun team is uh, put that aside for the time being we'll roll those and we have another dead because they're in the open so roll a d6 is it a leader leader is not hit so we'll get that all marked up so with a three he put the machine gun squad on overwatch and with a two the squad just jumped over the wall and now we move on to a German base. That 
really much you can do with that. You're just fishing for those fives at this point. Okay, passes back to the Americans. Now you know how Will felt with all of your double phases. Okay, there's two fives, do which gives him a chain of command point. Uh, one, two, and a three. So this squad just ran up. It's a little too far away from that jump off point. Uh, and with a one, the barrage continues. So first machine gun team. Machine gun team. That is one hit. Yep. Rifle first team. rifle team. That is one hit. Second machine gun team. Two hits. And then second rifle team one. is one hit. So first machine gun team is kill. a kill. Rifle team. Rifle team is nothing. Machine gun team is two, shock. two points of shock. And the rifle team is shock. a point of shock. So we'll mark that up, and you doing anything with the two? Um, no. Okay. So we'll mark it up and move on to the German phase. German phase. Oh, there's the five that you needed last time. Yep. And a six, three, and a four. Uh, pull shock with the three. Yeah, the three can be used to pull shock. We'll pull this one shock off the rifle team. Okay. And I'm going to try to end the turn. I'm going to try and keep it going. <laughs> but I can end the turn. You can just keep the barrage going. Yeah. So yep. that would have ended the turn will affect those guys. Yes. So yes, ending the turn, uh, they route with the junior leader. All the overwatch comes off. This smoke goes away. I spent my, I think we keep the barrage going. And the barrage continues. But did all the smoke go away? No, because that's part of the barrage smoke. If I lose a junior leader routed off the board and a team routed off the board. Yep. Uh, so the team routes. Five. Junior leader. This is a six. So we'll come back with what that is. So that was a total of three force morale loss, bringing the Americans down to five. And it's the American phase. So five, six, a one, two, three. So with the two, the squad overran the jump off point by running. Uh, and the one and the three were combined. I have the senior leader put uh, this whole machine gun squad on overwatch and the barrage continues. Right. So, first machine gun team. Two. That is two hits. First rifle team. Two. two hits. Second machine gun team. Three. Three hits. And last rifle team One. is a single hit. Machine gun team dead. is a dead. And the rifle team is a dead. Check leader. Yep. I'll see if it's the leader. It is the leader. What happens here? He is, I believe, not out. Is almost knocked over. Okay, first machine gun, uh, second machine gun team is two dead and shock. That might be all of them. That wipes out this machine gun team. And there was two hits on the rifle team. Oh, on the rifle team. On the rifle? No, second one. Yeah, re-roll one. Nothing. Uh, so roll a d6 since there were two kills on that other one. 
uh, no, your ma machine gun team is still there, and instead, that junior litter gets hit. <laughs> and he is also knocked out. So the machine gun is still there, but uh, both junior leaders are knocked unconscious the by the blasts. Huh? One of the guys still dead. So there was no force morale lost, so I guess they don't care about those. Uh, one, two, four, four. Um, squads can't see anything to fire, and they can't move because they're being pinned. Go so, uh, much, no. Those are junior leader initiatives, and those junior leaders are wounded for the rest of the turn. All right. Americans. Okay. Six, five, two, three, four. All right, the squad just continued to advance, and the mortar keeps on firing. So first, machine gun, machine gun team, three hits, rifles, rifles, two hits. The one guy remaining from the machine gun team. Oof, gets hit three times, and the last rifle. Okay, Ted. The first machine gun squad. Uh, all three are dead. Rifles. Point of shock. The machine guns team is wiped out. Okay. Well, maybe. Maybe it's wiped out. Roll a d6 and see if the leader in your first squad gets hit. He does not, so... It's just the team. Yeah, it's just the team that's wiped out. On both machine gun teams. So that, once again... And then one whole point of shock. There's going to be some bad things happening. So with the two teams wiped out, that was minus two to the force morale, which brought the Germans down to two, and uh, you can hear the screams of surrender over the mortar barrage. So that was a really swingy game, and I think it really all came down to this assault that was over here on uh, the side of this farmhouse. And uh, it was very high re risk, high reward for the Germans, and it just it didn't pay off. Uh, so either way, it was, uh, it was definitely an interesting game in Chain of Command, but uh, we're a little roadie war gaming. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, help us out with the channel. Uh, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. If you are subscribed, hit the bell so you get notified every time we post something new. Uh, leave us some feedback on the videos. We love hearing from you. Give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time.